Uh, dear students, this is the digital trainer IC on which we are going to implement various basic logic gates. Before actually implementing the gates, we will first go through the layout of the digital trainer IC. If you look at the different sections, you will find that there are five different sections in which we can mount the ICs. So each gate has a different IC. So if you are performing an experiment of say OR gate, then you, you have to use 7432 IC. Then you can insert the IC in any of these slots. Now the IC requires VCC for power supply. So VCC is given through one of these. You can use any of these pins to connect to the VCC pin of the IC. Same is the case with the ground. You can connect one end of this wire to the ground and second end is to be connected to the ground pin of the IC. Now, as far as inputs are concerned, this particular section is related to the inputs. If you put the switch on this condition and if you connect the wire, say I have to connect this wire to one of the pins, then what I am doing? I am actually giving the input to pin number one of the IC. If I make this switch on, the LED gates go and logic one is supplied to that pin. If I switch off the switch, then logic zero is applied. So in this way, you can apply the inputs either in the form of zero or in the form of one to the corresponding pins of the ICs. Same is the case with the output section. Suppose I am getting the output on pin number 19. In this case, uh, in this particular IC, that it may be a different pin. Then I have to connect it to the output section. You can connect it to the any of the output. And when I get the output as zero, then this LED will be in off condition. And when I get the output as a one, then this LED will glow. We'll, we'll see it in detail when we actually insert the IC. Now, if you look at the IC, here different ICs are shown. In figure 1.4, this is the OR gate IC, which is having the number of 7432. It is a 14 pin IC. If you look at the pin numbers, then pin number 7 is for ground and pin number 14 is for VCC. Pin number 1 and 2, these are the inputs of one of the OR gates of the IC and its output can be obtained in pin number 3. Same is the case with second OR gate, it is having 4 and 5 as input pins and pin number 6 is the output of second IC, second OR gate. Third OR gate has the pin number 9 and 10 as its input and its output is obtained on pin number 8. Similarly, fourth OR gate has the input of pin number 12 and 13 and its output is obtained on pin number 11. In order to realize the gate, in order to check the functionality of the gate, we have to use any of these uh, OR gates. In one IC, you will find four different OR gates, but we can use any of them. So while connecting, what I am going to do is, I am going to use this OR gate, I will supply uh, inputs to pin number one and two, and I will check the output on pin number three. Huh. Now let us go through the truth table of OR gate. If you look at the first row, you will find that when 0, 0 is applied at input, you will get 0 as output. When 0, 1 is applied at input, then 1 is the output. 1, 0 is the inputs, then 1 is the output. And finally, when both inputs are 1, output is 1. Now this is to be realized by using the trainer key. Now let us move to the trainer key. Now I have inserted the OR gate IC that is 7432 IC which is 14 pin IC here and this IC has pin number 7 as a ground. So here also pin numbers are written. Now this particular slot is made for 20 pin IC but this IC is of 14 pin. So pin number 1 to 7 and this is pin number 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 and 14. Now as far as no, diagram is concerned, pin number 7 is to be connected to the ground pin. So pin number 7 of IC is given the ground. Pin number 14, this is the pin number 14, it is to be given the VCC supply. So this connection is uh, made in a such a way that VCC is connected to pin number 14. So power supply section is we have connected. Then pin number 1 and pin number 2, that is these two pins which are connected by using the black wires. They are the two inputs of the 
or gate and they are given to the input section so i have connected them to ip1 and ip2 pins respectively output is obtained on pin number 3 and this pin number 3 that is pin number 3 is connected to the output section and by looking at this status of the led we can uh, we can conclude whether output is 0 or 1 now in order to uh, implement the gate or in order to verify the truth table of gate the initial condition is when both inputs are zero output is zero the switches are in downward position and leds are in off condition means this is the zero input this is the zero input and if you look at the output side you will get zero as a output so we have verified first row now what i have to do i have to apply the first input as zero and second input as one so what i am going to do first input is zero second input is made one and if you look at the output section the led is on means i am getting output as a one so here also output is one so we have verified the second row now moving further third row first input is one and second input is zero so first input is made one and second input is made zero what i am going to uh, what i am expecting i am expecting one as output so if you look here i am getting one as a output and finally when both the inputs are one then output should be one so i am making second input one first is already one and i am getting one at its outputs thus by using 7432 that is or gate ic i have realized or i have verified the truth table of the or gate now second uh, basic gate which is and gate and the ic for and gate is ic 7408 again it is 14 pin ic and the truth table of and gate is like this when both inputs are zero output is zero when input is zero and one output is zero when first input is one second input is zero output is zero and when both the inputs are one then output is one or to summarize output is one only when both the inputs are one now what i am going to do is i will insert this uh, and get ic that is 740008 on this in this slot i will fix it and i will switch on the board if you look at the connections again this is the ground pin number 7 is the ground pin number 14 is given the vcc supply these two black wires these are the two inputs of and gate and this lo wire it will it is connected to the output section now we'll verify the first condition when both the inputs are zero that is switch 1 is in off position switch 2 is also in off position means we have applied 0 0 as in input and what we are going going to going to get is the output is also zero so when inputs are 0 0 output is zero now moving further when first input is zero and second input is one so first is is zero i have i am going to make the second input as one so what i am going to get i am still getting zero as a output because in and gate when first is zero second input is one output is zero now moving further when first input is one and second is zero then also i am going to get zero as a output if you look at the truth table one zero will give you zero as a output and finally when both the inputs are one then output is go going to be one so let's verify it. so first input is already one second is also made and in this case you will find that the led is in on position means i have got one as a output so in case of and gate output is one only when both the inputs are one moving further let us take the example of xor gate xor stands for exclusive or gate and corresponding ic number is 7486 so this is the ic 7486 which will work as a xor gate now if you look at the truth table of xor gate you will find that output is one that is second row and sorry second row and third row output is one only when inputs are different first is zero second is one first is one second is zero and outputs are zero that is first row and last row only when both inputs are either both are zero 
or both are one so we will verify it by connecting the ic in the board so first let us fix the ic in the ic socket then switch on the power supply make the inputs as a zero as far as connections are concerned the same connections are there pin number 7 is connected to ground so this is black wire is the ground wire pin number 14 that is this red wire it is connected to the vcc these two black wires they are meant for giving two inputs to the xor gate so this is the input section and these inputs are given with the help of these switches output is obtained on pin number 3 so pin number 3 this yellow wire is connected to the output section and by looking at the status of led we will conclude whether output is 0 or 1 now let us verify from the first row when both inputs are 0 output is 0 in this case as both leds are in off condition both inputs are 0 and as output led is also in off condition so output is also 0 so thus we have verified the first condition that inputs are 0 0 and output is 0 now the second condition first input is 0 that is this which is in off condition and second is 1 so i will make it 1 what i am expecting 1 at output now if you look at the output section you will see that the led is glowing means when 0 1 is the input output i have got is 1 so second row is also verified now what is the third condition first input is 1 and second input is 0 what, what i am expecting i am expecting 1 at output so 1 is obtained at output and finally when both inputs are 1 output should be 0 so i am making both inputs at 1 and what i have got led is off so when both inputs are 1 and 1 output is 0 and that's all about the working of xor gate and to conclude this experiment uh, let's study the wor working of NOT gate now if you look at the truth table of NOT gate you will find that it has only one input and one output now what are different possible combination you can either apply 0 or you can apply 1 when we apply 0 at input we get 1 at output and when we apply 1 at input we get 0 so NOT gate is what it is doing it is complementing the number 0 is converted into 1 and 1 is converted into 0 as far as IC is concerned IC7404 so this is the internal diagram of IC7404 which works as a NOT gate this is a 14 pin IC pin number 7 is ground pin pin number 14 is VCC and as NOT gate has one input and one output instead of four gates it is having it can accommodate six different gates 1 2 3 4 5 6 so if i want to demonstrate the working of a not gate what i will do i will insert this not ic into particular slot and i will apply one of the inputs one input to pin number 1 and second pin that is the output pin it is connected to the output section if the switch is made in off condition then i should obtain one at output because 0 is converted into 1 so the LED connected at this particular terminal should glow if I apply 1 at the input that is at pin number 1 then I should get 0 at output so LED will be in off condition so in this video we have demonstrated different gates AND gate OR gate XOR gate and NOT gate by using this digital trainer I see. Thank you.